multi-million dollar payday that comes with it. BCS rankings look like this. Ohio State is the number one team and would play South Florida. Can you believe that in the national championship game if the season were to end today? That said, Hawaii came in at the 18th spot. They are the only team from a non-BCS conference to make the rankings, which are calculated from three major polls and six computer polls. Now, here's the deal. If the Warriors finish in the top 12 of the BCS standings, which would be impossible if Hawaii loses a game along the way, they'll earn an automatic berth into a BCS game. But at least one reputable college football analyst doesn't think Hawaii's remaining schedule is necessarily strong enough to push them into a BCS game. I think it's highly unlikely. I mean, what it's going to take is is a whole other slew of uh, you know cards, uh, to, the houses of cards to fall and, and upsets to happen. Um, you know, with, with Boise, uh, you know, in that shootout last night, um, you can't even really see that as a good thing. I mean, it would be better if they were blowing people out. Mm -hmm. um, it would be better if Washington, you know, was uh, a little higher in the pecking order in the Pac-10 right now. Um, I, I think Hawaii's. Uh, probably looking at you know staying home for the bowl season but uh, uh and, and by that i mean playing at home in the bowl season the whole bcs debate wouldn't even be an issue had the warriors not pulled off that come from behind overtime win over san jose state friday clutch plays on defense like a forced fumble actually caused by michael lafaele as well as a strong finish by the offense kept hawaii's unblemished record intact and head coach June Jones says despite throwing four picks, Colt Brennan, who also threw for 545 yards and four touchdowns, proved his medal. I think that Colt's play in that game will win him the Heisman if he plays well the last five games. You know, that's what I think. I think Colt, if the ball had been dry, you know, probably would have thrown maybe one pick, you know, and we would have had probably 750 yards passing. Um, instead of 545 to see him do that type thing they already know he can throw 38 out of 45 and 600 yards and win 68 to 10. they saw that part of him now we win the last and just keep winning and winning and winning they'll see the rest of it hawaii has a bye week before hosting new mexico state october 27th a game you the UH football team is in a great position right now. The Warriors are undefeated at 7-0 and, and on the BCS bubble at number 18 in the standing. But what's more, June Jones believes Cole Brennan is still on track to be named the best player in college football this year. I think that Colt's play in that game will win him the Heisman if he plays well the last five games. You know, that's what I think. Jones says Colt's ability to come back in the San Jose State game gives Hawaii's QB the advantage in the Heisman race. Down the stretch in the final four minutes of the fourth and overtime, Brennan threw for two TDs and ran in a score for a 42-35 victory. Jones says his late heroics have caught the attention of those at the next level who now see more pro potential for Brennan. I already got four or five calls from NFL scouts about that. You know, man, your kid, that's what we, you got to have. You know, guys that just don't go in the tank, you'll keep getting worse. You know, I mean, that one thing, and that's what I told him with about six minutes to go. I called him over. I said, Cole, you win this game for us. You, you get it done. This will do more for you than you ever will imagine. And, uh, and it will. Here's the Heisman watch as of last Tuesday. The new list comes out tomorrow. Running back Darren McFadden of Arkansas leads the way with 68 votes. Colt is in eighth place, but may score more votes with consideration to the Spartans game. There was a lot of good stuff after we looked at the tape, you know, and uh, really proud of how the guys hung in there through a lot of uh, adversity and a lot of tough conditions. To Frales toward the end zone, and it is intercepted. Ball game over. Head coach June Jones today still feeling good about the UH football team's 42-35 come from behind win Friday night on the road in overtime versus San Jose State. Warriors remain unbeaten at 7-0 and currently have the longest active win streak in the nation at eight straight games. I hope you're all having a pleasant evening. UH football team's 18th in the season's first BCS poll, 16th in the coaches' poll, ranked 17th by AP to win the way the Warriors did, to rally back from 14 down with four minutes to play then put it away in OT. That says something about a team. I think that it builds, uh, you know, character is what I think. And, 
you know, we've proven that we have that. Um, uh, I, I, don't, I think you make your own luck by not quitting, you know, not giving up, and that's what these guys have done. And, you know, that'll carry you when you're in tough situations in the last five games. They, they believe more. So with five games left on their schedule, is this team poised to make a run of the school's first ever outright WAC championship and possibly more? I think I think so. We're making big plays on defense and we're making uh, enough plays on offense. And, you know, I think our guys are stayed really focused uh, the whole year so far. I don't anticipate that will change. And, you know, I'm I, I, proud of uh, their work ethic, proud of, uh, you know, what they're uh, what they're about. Tomorrow, we'll talk with Jones about quarterback Cole Brennan and his place in the Heisman Trophy race. Interesting note, with Jones as head coach and Greg McMackin as his defensive coordinator, this season, like it was back in 99, Warriors have never lost a run. The team may have fallen, at least in the first BCS rankings that came out over the weekend, but the quarterback is still riding high. Back in studio, Jason Tank tonight with more on the Heisman watch, and a lot of people, Jason, are even questioning, is there really such a watch going on? Well, Howard, nobody really knows how seriously Brennan is being considered for the Heisman, but if it were up to his coach after last Friday's San Jose game, the decision wouldn't be that hard. I think that Colts play in that game will win him the Heisman if he plays well the last five games. Strong words from Jones, who usually remains pretty mum on the Heisman watch. But after witnessing one of the greatest warrior comebacks, Jones couldn't help but talk about his star quarterback. He finished the game and won the game for us after coming through some a lot of negative things. And that's an understatement. Despite scoring five touchdowns, Colt was sacked four times and threw four interceptions. I think Colt, if the ball had been dry, probably would have thrown maybe one pick and we would have had probably 750 yards passing. Statistics aside, though, the ability to weather that adversity and lead the team to victory is what people will remember. Guys that do that, that, that means more to people. I already got four or five calls from NFL scouts about that. That's what I told him with about six minutes to go. I called him over. I said, Cole, you win this game for us. You, you get it done. This will do more for you than you ever will imagine. Now with a bye week ahead, the team will spend the next two weeks preparing for New Mexico, where Colt will once again look to lead the Warriors on their quest for a BCS berth. If we win, he'll be impressive. Because there's no way we can win unless he is. And the Warriors will be back in the friendly confines of Aloha Stadium. The game is slated for Saturday, the 27th, kickoff at 6.05.